I've got some insane trading methods that can help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 22. Now, before we jump into that, I need to show you the easiest way for you to get some coins. If you guys are looking for the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market, make sure to head over to utnice.com and use code CHIEF for 6% off at checkout. Now, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. All right, boys, so jumping into these trading methods, we got a couple different low budget things for you guys to try out to help build your coins up. And as we're getting into this, make sure that you guys do drop a follow on Twitch for all my daily live streams and then join the Discord as well for more trading tips. So first thing we're going to be looking at here is silver league one players. Now, right now, I found it really, really easy to mass bid on bronze and silver league SBC cards. So this has kind of been the go to low budget thing at the moment. And if we look at silver league one cards, these are currently selling for about 400 coins a piece. Now, per usual, what we like to do is we like to find the price these are selling at and mass bid in snipe for 150 coins under so let's say we're selling these for 400 like you saw there we want to try to get these for 250 or less so what we can do is we can go through there's two ways you can go about bidding first way is like this just go through and bid the cheapest you possibly can on each one and see how cheap you can get them the second way would be to mass bid right away 150 coins under what you're going to sell them for so regardless of what i could bid here i would just go through and bid 250 on every card you can kind of do either way the perk of this one bidding kind of 250 right away is you don't have to worry about bidding on cards multiple times getting outbid if you get outbid it means that card is kind of been bid on for too much and you're not worried about it anymore and then while after you've kind of bid on those cards and you're waiting for them to expire you don't just want to sit there and stare at them that's when we're going to come in into our sniping now so we got league one silvers for 250 or less now sniping you're not going to see as many of these especially in our second filter and in bidding we like more anyway so it's nice that that's going to be our primary way of getting cards here now one does pop up for 200 and we do get it there so it's not too hard now in terms of profit a lot of people would kind of look at this as kind of a bad method but i mean think about this if you're picking those up 250 a piece right 150 coins under you only lose 20 on tax so you're making 130 coins a card there so if we pick up 10 cards that's 1300 coins just like that and you can see we've won four cards here already we we went and we sniped one in those we, we're making 180 on each of these because we're winning them for 200 selling for 400 so i mean that's one 360 720 coins plus the one we got we've already made 900 coins profit off the five cards we've picked up here which is kind of crazy how quickly that goes so you can see i mean you can make a thousand coins in a minute two minutes just sitting here mass bidding on cards and sniping especially when we combine them with our next method here which we'll show you in a second and we are start some of these people are starting to bid 250 so as you can see that method where we bid 250 right away could be very effective here now another thing that you can combine with a filter like this as you can see these cards already starting to sell here is not only just doing silvers but doing bronzes now these are interesting in that there's going to be a lot of deals you can pick up but they're i well there it's going to be easier to pick up deals but there's going to be less deals popping up i should say is how it's essentially going to work is there's just a lot more silver supply because of electrum player packs on the game a lot of people get electrum player packs from marquee matchups league sbc stuff so you get a lot more silvers on the market whereas the main bronze supply is from bronze pack method so with bronzes again i find it easier to get the deals i find less people bid on the bronzes but there is just less cards in general so again bidding is going to be your best friend and then you can snipe here in the meantime you can see first time we searched there were a lot of bronzes getting listed up for cheap now when you're sniping on these filters what you can actually do is just clear the quality and and snipe at 250 because you're not going to get any golds in here obviously because golds can't be listed this cheap you can see right away there we get a bronze rare guy for 200 coins i'm gonna go ahead and list him a little more expensive he's a center mid he's rare he's french so i think he'd go a little bit more there and you'll find that like certain clubs certain positions things like that will go for more coins and you can check the price of every card you pick up i recommend just kind of like listing as quickly as possible and getting right back in to bidding sniping because it's not as much about how much profit you make per card it's more about how many cards you're picking up and just doing this in like large quantities and that's how you're going to kind of get your most coins there but yeah basically just go bronze and silver go through bid on a bunch of cards and then while you're waiting on those 
go ahead and get your sniping game on try to get a few more cards so we're winning cards from both of those and you can see here we are winning these the ones for 250 a piece again pretty much everything's going 250 now a couple of these couple of them getting 300 coin bids but as long as you're picking up 150 under it should be very easy but guys that is gonna be it for this video if you did enjoy it make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video